Hello and welcome to my series how to get your ideal home um, or maybe I'll call it get that clutter free um, um, I have decided I'm in the middle of the series but I haven't decided on the title but um, um, as I mentioned in the last video um, I wanted to tackle in, in the last well, in the last video I was doing this drawer. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and do so. Maybe after this one. But um, as mentioned in that video, I was gonna tackle this cupboard next. So let's see what's in here. <gasps> A lot. <laughs> so basically, the game plan is take everything out, put it here on the table. Um, then I will clean this, then I'll put back what definitely needs to stay, then I will see what I can delegate, um, if I can delegate some items to another place, um, different places, but um, for example, this could go with eBay packaging, and um, there are some stationery in here, and things like that. Then I will edit, see what can go, and then whatever is left and needs to go in here, I'll put it back. And then see if I can organize it a little bit better. If there's any opportunity, let's see what opportunities arise. Um, and then, yeah, that will be done. So um, uh, bear with me while I do that. I may have to have separate parts because I'm having some trouble downloading the iMovie. Like, um, I offloaded it or it got offloaded. So... Um, due to that, I haven't been able to edit the other video yet, so in case you're seeing separate parts, even though in the video I said I will try and edit it, then that's the reason why, but I'm still hoping to somehow get it done, so let's see. But I don't want to um, procrastinate on it and think, oh, I'll do that one day, you know, so uh, that's why I'd rather than, if necessary, put separate parts out, even though I want it to be one part. It wasn't that long either, so I probably won't be showing me putting everything here. Well, one item is already here because that would just be too long and unnecessary because I only have one hand because I have to hold the uh, well I have two hands but I have to hold well, I have one hand free I mean because I'm having to hold things with I have to hold my phone with the other hand so I'll quickly do that and I'll show you next what I'll be doing so here it is the clean um, cupboard and those stains were there before by the way and ta-da, I mean, it's a lot. Um, so, oops. This, some things definitely, I'm just gonna wipe this down. Also, it'd be better if there's something else here because of this. Otherwise, it wastes a little bit of space, but this needs to go in. Definitely this. I mean, there's a lot, but maybe I'll see what I have left at the end. Is also too tall otherwise this could go here but I think that makes sense um, I'm not gonna tear everything separately and show you like, every item but um, you know and I'd like to group or I'd love to be able to group certain things like lint rollers all together and things like that but I'm gonna be doing the editing actually the delegation kind of a similar thing to do it's things like that I didn't remember I had this and like why is this in my sewing basket these are the things these are I know we already have a new oh we don't have plastic one though but I feel like we just have to like collect new jars of mini jars. They have been really useful, but how many do you need? I just wanted to I just wanted to be um emptier, so I think that that's what we'll have to do. Okay, I can reconsider this. I got this for free. The top is fun. Other than that, I do have oh, it's not here. I can't show you, but a cute one with unicorns. Only the top is like practical, but I don't go to the gym. If I do start going to the gym, then I might would want to buy one or like, I mean, it's just a useful thing, but I haven't reached for it. Maybe this could go. Mm. 
wonder if this comes from the bathroom, but if not, then I think we'll have to stay here. Um, some of these things are things that I personally like, don't seem to even, like, don't even know what we need them, but that's just the type of thing it is, I guess. So this is something stationary that can go to, with stationary. As I mentioned, all of these can go to eBay. Ooh, ah, more stationery. See, this is why I have cute jars when they come in handy. So they do come in handy. It's not totally, it's not just being a hoarder. But, you know. So I mentioned these books. I mean, I think what I will need to do is, because I'm looking at them like, hmm, they look really yummy. So maybe I'll need to, because I haven't reached for them since, and I, I don't use cookbooks. Mostly I cook what I know to cook. If not, I'll probably be inspired by something online. Which is a pity, but... Because normally I'm kind of old school, but... um, I mean, I like him, but what I would need to do is learn the recipes that I really like. And then actually make them. So that I should I give myself like a two week period of actually like learning the recipe, like actually physically making them so that I remember them? Hmm. They could go with books, but there's a purpose of going in the kitchen. I mean, it isn't, if it, it obviously doesn't bring me enough joy to actually open them and actually like use them. Oh, well, that's not even. Vegetarian, but it's very inspiring. It's like in the brink of like I actually liked it, but also it also brings me that um, I had this old video where I mentioned why I call the opposite of joy discomfort because like I didn't have a word for joy because sometimes joy when you don't feel joy sometimes you you have this meh feeling or like this kind of neutral feeling where you don't really feel a lot. Maybe it's new or maybe you just don't feel a lot. So it doesn't bring you joy. It could be enough to let it, uh, to, to let it go. But the opposite of joy would be something like discomfort because where you actually feel some sort of negative energy or just like dark energy or just like something, well, discomfort. So, or if you know a good word, let me know. But discomfort, um, kind of hits the nail on the head. And so, it's like a, an ex favorite, but I also haven't reached for it, so I was like, I think maybe these can go. We'll double check, because I'm not the only person who lives here, but, um, you know. And then maybe this can also be delegated to stationery. And I've wanted these out of here. Because I want this to be only for, um... These guys, what's the name of the one? Is old elastic bands. Oops. Actually, the the pot they're in is rather cute. That little bucket. I'll do that when I have both hands. But free. We will see. This can also go to eBay. We will see, and I'll show you a little bit later what will have happened by then. Tada! Looking so much better already. I'm excited. It's looking so cute. And I found this bottle in here. Um, so I decided to keep this one and let go of these three. And then this might even fit the bottle stopper thing that I was talking about if they have it again. And then I'll do this one and it'll be cute. And Coca-Cola, they had this Christmas ad so it kind of works with Christmas. But just it'll have some fairy lights in. And then I found this, which had been empty. So rather than throwing this one out to um, all the little things, the smaller things that fit in here that didn't have a home, I put them in here. So I don't know if this is too heavy to be on the top, but other than that, that's worked out cute. And now it's just a matter of pretty much filing everything back in there and kind of making sense of it all. I've already started to do. I'm hoping it can stay this clutter free because that would be so cute. And I found something to put here at the back. All these lint rolls, I stacked them up so this way they 
utilizing the vertical space, it takes less um, horizontal space, so it ultimately takes less space altogether. And then you can pull this out easily. Like it doesn't feel like you're wasting space because of this thing being here. So there's something that fit under that, which is cute. I'm liking it so far. Yay! So these are the things that are probably going. I'll have to ask with these and some of the jars bag. Da -da -da. This is how it's looking right now. Oh, by the way, this is exactly why we have that little elastic part. Oh, oops. Oh, um, I haven't decided on this one yet, but if I wanted to, I could place it here or I could um, put it down there when I go through here. So I haven't decided on this one fully, so I'll put it on the table, but... Yeah, um, it's still kind of looking a little bit cramped, but also lots better than before. Um, I'd love to have a basket for light bulbs. It would only make sense because they're kind of hard to file because they're in such an awkward shape. And then that would make it possible to have them all in one place, which I kind of did anyway, but they're all kind of here, but it would be nice, but I would need something that fits. And um, I guess I'll measure it and when I run some errands, I can have a quick look if I find anything. But if not, then this is also working cute. And yeah, I mean, there's so much space here. It's like so cool. I'm really happy I did this. I love how it turned out. It looks cute. It, at the very least, looks a lot better and much more edited. So that's great. And... Um, yeah, let me know how you're liking it, and if you are or have also decluttered some of your kitchen space or generally, and what kind of tips from some of my videos. Um, I received a call there, so I apologize for that, and um, all I wanted to say was ask you to like and subscribe or consider subscribing and sharing my content and commenting with any kind of declutter related things you might have to say and how you liked it and if you have utilized any of the tips you've seen in my videos and which one you like best and you know how things are going for you in terms of decluttering or if you're just watching this for fun and if you do so then I'll know that you made it to the end of this video high five there so um thank you for that and thanks for watching and i hope to see you back in the next one um do make sure to check out my other videos as i mentioned i had one about the store already um finished filming um that's in the editing stage and then i will um, go to uh, do these two next um because i feel like everything needs a once over and i'd love to see you back there let me know if you return and uh, see you in the next one. Bye!